Hi everybody, it's Jenny and Michelle here at Art Among the Flowers. We're gonna do a little sneak preview of behind the scenes at Art Among the Flowers. Michelle is one of our main designers here. She's going to show us a demonstration on how to make a table centerpiece for Thanksgiving. Hi Michelle. Hi y'all. I wanna get started and show you the most important thing to me and that is this block of foam because this is what keeps your flowers alive and a lot of people will take the whole block and put it in like this and it's wasteful so we have these little score lines here and we cut one piece and two pieces and we don't need the third piece then so we put one piece in two piece in and we still fill our whole space up but awesome. we saved a third of a piece of foam. Awesome, so she's helping save some money for the shop, which we need to do. Okay. And then next, we wanna secure the foam in there so it doesn't fall out. And in order to do that, I'm gonna need my glasses. Okay. <laughs> what kind of tape are you using? Um, this is um, waterproof tape. Okay, awesome. Also known as anchor tape here. We use this um in our floral design classes we teach all the girls how to do this in floral design you can see what she's doing there you want to tape down both sides and then you want to secure the little bottoms of your anchors to make sure they don't come loose she's doing you can like go all the way around if you want to but you save a little bit of tape if you just take one piece across each side yeah let's see what you did there perfect just so it doesn't come undone or fall out. Right. Awesome. And by the way, we have a class coming up on Sunday, uh, the Sunday before Thanksgiving. We're going to learn how to do just this. We're going to learn how to make a Thanksgiving centerpiece. We still have some spots available online, so go ahead and make your reservation if you're interested in taking this class. Okay, the next thing I want to do is put some water in here so it keeps the flowers hydrated awesome flowers need water yep and another reason we do this ladies and gentlemen in case your stem comes out the other end of the floral foam it's in water not air awesome point <laughs> the next thing we want to do is put our candles in now you can put your candles level some people like them staggered yeah. I like them level and you want them to be about two and a half inches apart Perfect. and the same distance from the end on each side. Perfect. So we're gonna go about right here. And you wanna put them in there good so they're nice and secure. Yeah. There we go. Perfect, that looks beautiful. Awesome. And then we're gonna start greening. And we have a couple different kinds of greens. I like to mix my greens, it makes it look more interesting. And I like to start on the ends, you want them to come out a little bit. You always cut the ends before you put it in and you want to go about two inches into the foam that's important right so right now she's working with some variegated pittosporum yes and it's nice and fluffy so it, it covers well around the bottom of the container because you don't want to see where we've taped exactly you want to hide the mechanics of your arrangement perfect on the sides you don't want them to stick out quite as far so you just make shorter little pieces. Perfect. And then I generally work from one green to the next. I'll put all my pit in that I wanna use, and then I'll go back and add my Perfect. leather leaf and then my salal, and then any specialty greens. Like today I have the Parfavolia eucalyptus. Perfect. So there's a nice balance of green. Yes. Not heavy on one side and equally distributed throughout. Looks really pretty. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my leather leaf. And again, you want to have two inches into the foam. Perfect. And I like to put this on the corners because it has the point, the natural pretty. point, and it flows. Perfect. And we get all our fresh greens from a farm in Seville called Fern Trust. So all of our greens are super, super fresh here. And I'm just pulling off the little pieces of greenery at the bottom that I don't need and I don't want to put that into my foam. Perfect. Perfect. And then I have these smaller pieces that I want to put up top. 
you know, just, you know, kind of go back and forth from one side to the other, giving it balance. Yeah, and some dimension. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I like to take these pieces and put them like in this area. You don't want to put it in the middle of the foam there where your two pieces of foam meet. You want to get it to the right or to the left. Perfect. Have another one of those here somewhere. And they don't have to be straight across. They can be at an angle. Perfect. Mm. It's already looking so pretty and it's just with greens. And then you want to get some in the middle here. Yep. And not too up, too high up the middle where the candles are because you don't want your candles to catch anything on fire. Nope. You definitely have to watch your candles. Mm -hmm. When they get start getting low, you don't want to keep lighting them and catch them on fire, catch your arrangement on fire. Right. So this is super pretty. Um, we're gonna probably have to show the, what the end result looks like pretty soon because our video is getting long and we know how everybody's attention span is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just switching to my next green right really quick. Okay. I'm gonna add some salal in here, also known as lemon leaf. And you wanna pick off any of the leaves that have brown edges that just aren't attractive. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want those in our arrangement. And then I cut the weird ones that are sticking out off the top also. <laughs> That's just my pet peeve. Right. Some of you have bug, bug bites in them and people don't like that, but some do like it. So it's your own preference, I guess. And you don't have to cover every inch of foam because you're gonna put flowers in here that are gonna take up space in between. Yep, so already, this is called greening it up. And then in the very middle, I have this big space and I saved this fluffy guy for oh, that big perfect. space. And I wanna take off all the little laterals so I can get him down in the foam really good. Perfect. And again, not down the center because you don't want him to be in the air. Right. You want him to. Beautiful. And that's how you green the center piece. Perfect. All right. And I have these little pieces of parfavoli. I don't know if you wanna watch me add that, but mm -hmm. I just like the softness of it and mm -hmm. it's flowy. Mm -hmm. Has movement. Yes, yeah, so pretty. Perfect. Beautiful. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how you green up a table centerpiece. And in just a minute, she's going to switch this out and show you the final product, the final design of what it looks like after you've added all the flowers. So hopefully you'll take one of our classes and you'll learn how to do this. We would love to have you. And again, that looks beautiful, Michelle. This is the beginning of your arrangement. Perfect. And then. Perfect. After you add your flowers and your little tuck bows, which are these little things right here. Yeah. And some fall leaves. Beautiful. If it's for fall, this is what you get. I love it. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. Y'all have a great day. <laughs>